story time. Okay, y'all, I know it's been like a hot minute since you've seen me. I'm not going to apologize because it's just life. Sometimes that's just how it rolls. I am going to try to get a video up every week. I'm having a big goal from here to the end of the year and hopefully better the first of the next year to start loading at least one video a week. I'm going to start doing a live video from my Bentik store um, every Wednesday and then try to upload an edited video for you guys on Sunday. I'm going to try my darndest. I found a video that I did last fall at this time and I actually edited it and it, I actually had already edited it. <laughs> How do you say that? Edited. Edited. I don't know. Anyway, I <laughs> made a video and I actually am imported it up or exported it up to YouTube, but it's been left in draft. And the reason is it was from October, but I um, did the edits in January and it just didn't seem appropriate to post a video in January that's showing fall leaves and stuff. So I just didn't, I just left it as a draft in YouTube. So I downloaded that today. I don't know why it just hit me. I'm like, I really don't want to lose all that footage because it was beautiful. And we're almost at the exact same time a year later right now. And I'm actually heading up there today. I'm sitting in my driveway, getting ready to drive up to the cabin. So this video is about the Airbnb in case you're wondering. There was a lot that's happened between um, when this video was recorded and now a ton has happened and I rewatched the video and a lot's happened at the Airbnb but just to put things short and quick I'm not going to go into detail because I'm probably going to do videos on all the events that's already happened but I opened a second location renovated two stores and my mom passed in July 21st from Alzheimer's disease that happened and then anyway we're up to present day. And there was a few vacations and other crazy things that's happened in between. And I'll go into more detail about all that stuff in another video. But anyway, I just wanted to do a little quick re intro to this video to let you know that this is last year's footage. In the next video, I'm gonna try to get you caught all the way up on the renovations to present day. It's taken a long time to get where we, we are, but it's really fun to kind of see this video and then to show you all the stuff that actually has happened even though it's been a whole year. Hope y'all enjoy this video and I hopefully will see you again this Wednesday for my live. It'll be from C321 Ventiques doing some kind of DIY project and then hopefully again catch you up on what's going on and at the Airbnb next Sunday. All right guys, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks so much for watching. Look at my cute daddy. He's so cute. So he's out there making a jig to cut our boards with, him and his famous jigs. <laughs> so that we can steal these boards to finish that wall because eventually this bathroom is going to be gone. So I'm going to reuse the boards off of it. We installed a few of these pieces here. We found an easier way to get the boards off without pressing them. We need about three more boards. And so Dad's over here. We're stealing some off of this kitchen wall here. Pop off all the trim, and then we're hoping to get at least three whole boards off this wall. Hey, I want to show you something. I look like a crazy mess. Look. 
um, so my dad has a little pickup truck and he put this board and I don't know if the rest of y'all already know this trick, but I didn't. So I just had him do this trick for me. But if you have this um, liner in your truck, there's a little slot right there and you can put a board in and look, that's exactly what it's for. So you can put things near the tailgate and it won't, they won't slide all the way to the back. And so I had a board hanging out here in next to the house it's pressure treated so my dad just cut it down for me and voila i feel so fancy larry just got a big upgrade <laughs> okay where's that roast Heading to the mountains today. I'm a little, I'm a day late. I did a photo shoot yesterday at the store. Yeah, one of these will work. And so on Friday, I normally leave Friday mornings. And so I am a day behind. Take one of those, leave this one here. Take this to cook all day today, and it should be for the next couple of days at the mountains. This is my favorite hardware store. Good morning. How you doing? Good. I see all those good things it does. I'm at the Habitat for Humanity Restore Store in Morganton. I'm going to go in here and see if they've got any fun things that um, I can buy for the cabin or even for my house. I love to go to the one in Lenore, but I just started going to this one on my way up the mountain. And it's a new route and it's a beautiful route. So anyway, it's a great excuse to come to that store. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking Just 
and I can't wait. Just looking up at the leaves right now. We still have quite a few. They're turning on ours. Oh, I can't wait to go look off the bad deck and see our view. Hello, sweet cottage. Oh, it's cold in here. Oh, look. Look, you can see the leaves through. Oh, let's go. Oh, look how beautiful. That pretty tree right there. Look at the gorgeous leaves. And then you go up. See the mountains through there. Right there. Hey guys, um, it's very dark in here at night. You can see our construction from last week. I didn't get a whole lot accomplished once I got here. And once I got here and got unpacked, I started my little stew, cooking my little stew here, and it's just about done. Mmm, that's my roast, it's a beef roast. And you guys, <laughs> I left that little pack of onion mix at home, so I just made do with salt and pepper and water, and then here at the last minute, I threw a little bit of A1 sauce on it, and it still tastes good, I've already tasted it. I'm gonna make me some little roasted asparagus and then that's gonna be supper. and smells delicious. <sighs> On here, let's put some of this melted butter. I'm gonna do it without dropping it. I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. I have gained a little bit of weight and I'm not happy about it. Enjoy my supper. Decided I wanted to watch a YouTube video. I make YouTube videos and what inspired me to start doing this is because I watch a lot of YouTube. And I get very inspired by all of it. I don't know if anything I do inspires you at all. But I hope it does. But anyway, this is Debbie's, Debbie's design diary. She created DIY paint. I don't carry DIY paint, but I do like it. Um, it's, it's a hard thing to carry lots of different paints. But yeah, there's so many colors and so I just I just carry one brand and that's farmhouse paint and I love it and I will use it forever But I do like her paint as well More than her paint. I like her. I like how creative she is How uh, down-to-earth she is and like real on her videos She's been in business for a very long time and has been creating content for a long time and She's just one of the people that I really like to watch. And um, anyway, that's why I'm having supper and just watching a YouTube video.
gonna need warm water. And that's why I'm doing it like this. All right, just a little bit of out. Dash. Found I already had some TSP in here. Of course, in here because I just don't want to waste it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it up. Okay. So it's be a half cup of this to two gallons of water. Since I already got a little bit in there, and I think it's about two gallons, I'm just going to put like one fourth of a cup in there. If I can get it open, I guess. I don't want to put this stuff that's kind of toxic, so I don't want to put it in. We'll say it's enough. <laughs> Let's stir it up. It doesn't really have a smell. Forgot my gloves, but hopefully it won't tear my hands up too bad. I got so much paint on them, it probably won't hurt. It'll help get the paint off. All right, I need to find my scrubby. Let's see if I can find one. Okay. Let's get scrubbing. Hey, so I just got done. Whew, I'm sweaty. I just got done. I'm gonna leave my scaffolding up there because I might want to use it to paint that little section right there. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna leave it up and I will grab my bucket of dirty water from the loft. It'll be easier. But I just got done and I'm not done done. I'm done just washing the ceiling. But it is lunch break, so I'm gonna tell you what I did. So I took the little crock pot last night after it cooled down, and I just, this is a super old crock pot. I think I got this when I first got married, and I've been married over 30 years, so that tells you how old it is, but it still works. <laughs> so all I did is um, I put that in the refrigerator, and then this morning when I got up, I pulled it out and I let it get to room temperature first and then I plugged it in. I put it on low. It wasn't heating up fast enough. I put it on high for about 30 minutes and now it's back on low. And look, y'all. Oh, I think it'll be even better. It'll be even yummier. I'm going to have the exact same meal. So I'm going to throw in a little piece of toast and I'm going to pour those juices over that with the meat and then have that asparagus and I think it's going to be yummy. So, um, I'm going to have lunch. I hate, I really hate to stop and eat lunch. I skip lunch a lot of times. You wouldn't know it by looking at me, but I skip lunch a lot of times because I don't want to stop because once I stop and eat, I get sleepy and get unmotivated, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to eat for energy and then I am going to try to tackle. I just wanted to show y'all again, this beautifulness out here. It's just such a beautiful day. Let's see if I can get it unlocked again. It just gets prettier every time. Every time. I love this tree right here. I'm so glad we didn't cut that down. That is so pretty. Look at all the beautiful colors. I don't know if y'all can see right there's the mountains. I can see the ridge line. There's a little bit over on this side too go in just a little bit closer for you. See her? She's right there. And when all those leaves fall, it's going to be even prettier. I can't believe this is my place. Okay, so after lunch, after we get done eating that, this wall right here, see all the speckled paint that I got on it? So it's just motivated me to um, I'm going to go ahead, since I have the cleaner and stuff ready to go, I'm going to scrub this wall to about to this cabinet. I'm going to stop at the cabinet, but I'm going to scrub this down. And if I have time, I think I will, I'm going to try to get one coat of paint on it before I go home. Um, if it goes fast, then we might do this wall too. But the main goal is to get that other one. Y'all remember our room, it's the same as we left it. I'm gonna try to give you a before shot. And 
and then this after. the lights doing oh it's so crazy coming through all the different windows time to close up I got all the dishes cleaned up everything done start turning off lights I got my crop light here let's turn off lights Whew. Water's off. We're ready to go. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, when the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken Take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves So 
Okay, y'all are kind of getting a preview of, of craziness. I'm gonna come on up here in my living room. It's actually livable. <laughs> and then I'm gonna show y'all my view. Compare it to last year's view that you might notice something a little bit different. Oh, look at there. You remember that tree I talked about last time? There it is. You can't really see it, but I can see it. There's the mountains. Let's see if I can get in close. There they are. Look at that. It looks just about like what it did a year ago right now. So you're gonna see some of this. This was, we, we did put in a new deck and you're gonna see that it's actually a double deck and you'll see some of that later next week. I didn't build it. We hired somebody to do that and I'm <laughs> glad I did. It was um, quite an engineering feat. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching and hopefully you'll join me Wednesday for my DIY at C321 Ventiques. And then next Sunday, I should have another video up for you. If not, it'll be Monday or Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye y'all.